Hey guys, Shresh Art Midget here. I'm going to be making a video on my WeTech ACR. I'm just going to be kind of showing it off just like I did with uh, my PDW. Um, I'm just going to be making these small videos, just kind of uh, if you're new to my channel so you know what guns I have or, uh, you know, kind of an update kind of thing because I have not done a video on this gun specifically in a good while. So I just, this is somewhat of an update, but I'm not going to title it as such because um, there's going to be more than just an update because I'm going to shoot it and chrono it and yada yada. So I have three uh, Vietnam mags in front of me. I have five total and I have a sixth um, version two Stanag. And I also do have a version one Stanag as well, but it leaks like crazy, so I don't even use it. Um, so as far as externals on this rifle, the only thing that's uh, upgraded is the flash hider here. Took off the ugly orange one. Um, the Wii Tech stock one was actually an M16 or M4 style, and it was heck to get off. It has a pin drilled in it. Now right here there's a screw, but the WE one had a pin tapped into the actual threads as well. So basically I had to get pliers and basically rip it apart. Um, it was unusable. So, yep. I don't know if they still do that because this was one of their earlier ones. So I'm not sure if they still do that because they could change that. Um, I hope they would get rid of that pin and put a screw there. As far as the other parts on the gun, it's really all stock. This is the standard version not the battlefield version with the uh, crane stock and buffer tube this is the original acr style stock the folding one um, it has the standard sights that came with it these are amazing sights these are troy battle site replicas um, and these are awesome i mean the quality on them is meh i did the pin fell out on this one so i had to put a screw in there to hold it together um, otherwise the recoil would uh would uh, make it fall so that could be quality issue like see the pins on here on the back one they just flew out somehow I'm not sure how that happened um, so as far as internals um, we have the stock fire control group I am ordering a steel fire control group tonight um, steel hammer steel sear uh, and um, steel trigger all from RA Tech I'm actually getting a pretty good deal on them they were they're like new condition about 100 rounds to him and he's just trying to sell his ACR so he said he'd part the fire control group the RA Tech one because he has the stock ones he can throw in there um, so he's making some money well he kind of lost some money because he didn't use them very much and he spent uh, 50 bucks on them and um, selling them for 40. all right so the bolt here is stock uh, nozzle stock this nozzle's been through about 4,000 rounds I had a different one in here and it never broke uh, well the spr the nozzle spring broke um, and the front of it on the side was beat up so I just went ahead and threw this in here and I'm going to try to find another uh, spring for that nozzle so I can still use it um, but I'll probably end up using that nozzle for my M4 more importantly I need a spare nozzle for my M4 because these, these nozzles are solid on this gun um, the M4 nozzles aren't super solid um, some people say the ACR nozzles and the M4 nozzles are like the exact same um, they look the exact same, but I think the plastic's a little bit stronger in the uh, ACR type, at least the ones that I got. Um, hop up barrel and bucking is stock. It is the standard M4 inner barrel though. It doesn't go all the way to the tip. It's like here because the original was actually a lemon. I got a lemon, so it wasn't functioning properly, so I swapped it out. Um, these guns re used to retail for 380. Now they're about 320. Um, I got mine for 220 from a guy that got his in the mystery box. He got the grand prize in the mystery box and sold it to me for pretty cheap, 220. But it had a, it ended up making making up for it because it did have a lemon hop up, so I had to spend like 25 on a new hop up barrel and bucking, and that's what's in here now. Um, so let's go ahead and see. These are loaded with 0.30 gram BBs and a propane. All right, so let's uh, put it through the chrono here. It's about 60 degrees out here. 364, 359, 358, 355. Um, that's pretty hot. Uh, shoot, that's shooting really hard. 360, yeah, that's shooting hard. All right, well is not always bad but it's not always good either put this on tactical sling 
it's empty. Won't lock back with the Vietnam mags. So, uh, well, sometimes when you manually do it, but all I have to do is just flip that up and back down. I think I have it over hopping a little bit too much. Yeah, it's over hopping too much. I'll take my uh, wrench and turn it down when I get inside. Headshot target's actually not hard to hit. Last magazine. Also, if uh, I'm out of ammo and I really want to, all I have to do is just pull the trigger and push the bolt lock up and it locks. So then I can go to switch. Uh, or I can just charge the rifle. When I reload, I reload and I just, that way. Whatever way floats my boat at the time. Thing's got some kick. So it's empty. There you go. Um, like I said, the steel fire control group has to be replaced, or the stock fire control group has to be replaced. Um, and the only companies that sell fire control groups right now, well actually Z Parts came out with theirs first. And their, their hammer has a roller bearing on it, so potentially your rifle could cycle a little bit faster, be a little bit smoother um, on the action. But their kit is like $80 to $100 for the trigger sear and disconnector. And that's just retarded, I'm not paying that. So the Ari Tech, um, I've heard of fitment issues, but like I said, I found somebody that used his in his gun, and it says he says it works fine, so it should work in mine because they're literally the same thing, um, for 40 bucks. So, I mean, they're 50 new, the Aritech ones, they're steel. They're, I've heard they're steel alloy, so you probably have a little bit of aluminum in there, but it's mostly steel. Like, if you take a magnet to it, it really does stick. Um, so I'm going to give it a try, see how long it lasts. Um, hopefully it'll last me a good year and a half. Uh, this stock fire control group lasted me about half a year, and I never even fielded it. Um, actually, about a full year. Yeah, about a full year, and I never even fielded it fielded it just using it in the backyard like now um that's all i ever did i took it to the field once and tried to field it but it was shooting too hard so if you have any questions again comment below um if you have any questions uh ask um i should be able to answer them if they're specifically about this rifle um so i don't know what else to say you know this is a sweet rifle um DCR specifically is my favorite like format, rifle format, assault rifle at least. Um, just the way it looks, it's my favorite looking rifle. And I like the controls and everything. The M4 is just so, so bland. I did build an M16, but M16, I mean, it's a little bit less bland, you know? You don't see long barreled M16s out there all the time. Um, and then my AGM4, that's standard M4 length, but I'll tell you, I, I put a lot of external and internal upgrades on that thing, so it looks I identical to the rifle that I want it to be. You know, like, I dr if I could dream up a rifle, the externals, the way it would look, it would be my AGM4. I would love a gas pullback version of it, but really expensive. And I already have an M16, so yeah, I'm getting off topic. But, um... Uh, Anyways, that's that's going to conclude the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I really did because I love the recoil. Yeah.